More specs for the speculated upcoming Z8, three brand new lenses for the Z mount system and a brand new F to Z lens adapter for the Nikon Z system. Grab yourself a coffee because that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. So there's been tons of speculations about new cameras being released by Nikon. None have really come to fruition apart from the latest Nikon Z30, which I should hopefully have in my hand soon to run through all of those tests that everybody's been asking for. But the latest specs have been kind of rumored for the Nikon Z8, and that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. But we're also gonna cover three brand new lenses which have just been released for the Nikon Z mount system and F to Z lens adapter, which could rival Nikon's very own F to Z lens adapter. So let's first kick it off with the brand new lenses that have just been released for the Nikon Z system. They are, and I shall refer to the website, we have the Kippon have announced a new and improved 2022 version of the 35 millimeter 2.4 lens for Nikon Z mount system. These are all manual lenses. Now, if you guys would like to see me do a test using manual lenses on the Nikon Z system, because these mirrorless cameras are perfect for shooting manual lenses, not something I've done much of, but I'll gladly put a video together showing you how it works and how easy it will be to use a manual focusing lens, let me know in the comment below and I will gladly put that together. So the other manufacturer who has released a new lens for the Z system is, I think it's pronounced, I can never pronounce this correctly, Mickey, Mickey. Um, and they have released a new 10 millimeter super wide F2 wide angle manual focus and lens. And this is specifically for the APS-C cameras. So it'll be for the Nikon Z50, ZFC, and the upcoming Z30. That'll be quite an interesting lens, 10 millimeters wide at F2. So that would be an interesting lens to kind of get hold of and have a look of and see how that performs. The other lens which has just been released, which hopefully I should be getting my hands on soon, they have contacted me and asked if I would like to do a review of this lens, hopefully they'll be sending that out soon, is from TT Artisan, and that is the 50 millimeter F2 full frame manual focusing lens. Now these lenses with the being manual focus are very, very affordable. So that's why I'm keen to do a video showing you how you can use manual focusing lenses on your Z mount system. So that is the three new lenses which have just been released for the Z system. So what about the new F to Z adapter? Well, Viltrox have just released a new F to Z adapter for the Nikon Z system. Something that will rival their very own F to Z adapter from Nikon. That is being sent to me so I can do a review. So I'm looking forward to getting a hold of that and testing that and seeing how well that performs on the Z system because it would be nice to have an option to buy either the more expensive one or the cheaper one. So I'm looking forward to seeing the results of using that adapter. So if you want to see that, consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss that upcoming video. So what about the latest rumored specs coming about the Z8? Well, there has been lots bounded about and I'm not too sure where the Z8 sits or where it's actually gonna come out. But in saying that, the D850, when that came out, that had all the bells and whistles. That was probably one of the best DSLR cameras produced by Nikon, hands down. Still a great camera today. So I'm kind of thinking with the flagship Z9 already out, we could actually see this high megapixel Z8, similar to the D850, because that was such a phenomenal camera. Why not bring out the same version in mirrorless form. So the latest rumored Z8 specs are as follows. They reckon we're gonna be seeing the Sony 61 megapixel sensor. Now we do know that Nikon do use a lot of Sony sensors, but obviously they tweak them and they kinda push them to their limits and try and get as much out of that sensor. And they do a really good job in doing this. But I reckon we're gonna be seeing a 61 megapixel sensor in the new Z8, which would kind of make sense considering if you look back at the DSLR days, when we had the D5, the D6, and then we had the D850. And obviously the D5, D6 are the flagship cameras, but then the D850 came out with a higher megapixel camera, which was pretty much a phenomenal camera, and it still is today. So I kinda, I can see that coming and seeing where that sits in the market. It's just a bin, man. Empty in the rubbish. Right outside my door. 
we'll wait till these pass and then uh, we'll crack back on with the video. This is why it takes me ages to record any kind of YouTube video. And we're back. So apparently Nikon has signed up to purchase the latest Sony 61 megapixel sensor, which they are rumored to be putting in the latest Nikon Z8, um, which is featured to have two dual CF Express memory card slots, which we'll see what that comes up. Remember, these are rumors. Um, improved image stabilization, which I can see that, because obviously that'll be passed down from the flagship camera or probably in Proved from um, what's already there. Uh, new resolution shift mode, which will capture a 250, uh, 240 megapixel image, which I think it's about time Nikon did try and implement something like that in their cameras because that would be pretty awesome um, to be able to do that. A lot of the Micro Four Thirds cameras do that, and with the five axis in body stabilization within these cameras, I think that's something that could be implemented as well as a new feature for upcoming Nikon Z mount systems. The form factor of the camera will be larger than the Nikon Z2. One, to house a bigger sensor. Two, to help cooling when shooting 6K video as well. Now remember, these are all just rumors and speculations that are bounding about on the internet. But a lot of them have actually come true in the past, so it's worth mentioning, putting them out there. What would you guys like to see in a Z8? Do you actually think it's going to be sitting within the lineup considering the flagship camera has been released the z9 and um, where do you think it sits and kind of what's your thoughts on the specs of the upcoming z8 personally speaking i still think we're going to be seeing a high end aps-c camera coming for wildlife and sports as well i do believe we're still going to be seeing that and i think we're going to be seeing that this year but let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the upcoming z8 and possible high end APS-C camera coming from Nikon. And also, what you think of the latest manual lenses available for the Nikon Z system, and is that something that you would shoot and like to see me do a test video for. So that is it. I'm going to go and uh, edit this video, get it uploaded, and then shoot another one. I would love it if you guys would stick around, so why not consider subscribing to the channel and uh, possibly give this a thumbs up if you've liked it, and flick the notification bell so you can see when more of these videos are posted. And I will see you guys in the next one. See you then.